Welcome to the Awesomers.com podcast. If you love to learn, and if you're motivated to expand your mind, and heck, if you desire to break through those traditional paradigms and find your own version of success, you are in the right place. Awesomers around the world are on a journey to improve their lives and the lives of those around them. We believe in paying it forward, and we fundamentally try to live up to the great Zig Ziglar quote, where he said, you can have everything in your life you want if you help enough other people get what they want. It doesn't matter where you came from, it only matters where you're going. My name is Steve Simonson, and I hope you will join me on this awesomer journey. If you're launching a new product manufactured in China, you will need professional, high-resolution, Amazon-ready photographs. Because Simo Global has a team of professionals in China, you will oftentimes receive your listings photographs before your product even leaves the country. This streamlined process will save you the time, money, and energy needed to concentrate on marketing and other creative content strategies before your item is in stock and ready for sale. Visit simoglobal.com to learn more, because a picture should be worth 1,000 keywords. Hey everybody, it's me, Steve Simonson. I'm back again with another Awesomers podcast episode. And this episode number is number 78 of the Awesomers podcast series. And the procedure, if you wish to find more details, show notes, etc., is to just go to awesomers.com slash 78. Now today we're doing a Book of the Week episode. And I want to just share that the Book of the Weeks are important. And even though we don't do them every single week, we drop them off as often as we can. We're doing today's episode about the book, It's Only a Mountain. It's Only a Mountain. And it's, it's written by Sam Nall, but the, the book is about what we call Team Hoyt. And it's Dick and Rick Hoyt, who, who are some of the most incredible, like uh, the subtitle says, Men of Iron, some of the most incredible inspirational stories you've ever seen. Now, this is a, a true story. This is like a, a, you know, kind of various uh, biographies and sub-biographies throughout the book. Uh, and it's a true story of a dad who literally took his quadriplegic son, who is also nonverbal, and took him around and ran triathlons and ran marathons. And this, if you have never heard this story, it really is truly inspiring. And it's an amazing thing. And I love the title because it starts out with this concept that indeed, it's only a mountain, right? And that points to the idea that you can climb any obstacle, you can overcome any challenge that, that's necessary. And in this case, you know, Dick Hoyt said he wanted to help his son be a, a really high functioning, you know, kind of member of society and an athlete. And I, I just want to tell you, for those uh, uh, who may be listening or, or watching on the video version, I was I had the great pleasure to meet uh, Dick and Rick uh, some years ago, and they signed my copy of the book. And I I'm uh, I love the story. It's quite inspirational, and it's something that I find to be. Uh, really instructive for people when you start thinking about the challenges that each of us face it's really it pales by comparison to what uh, these guys have faced so I want to just share the one of the the previews of the the story with you Um, so it's the title is it's only a mountain in Dick Hoyt's world the only difference between a hill and a mountain is something called attitude and along with the courage and determination the Hoyt family has conquered many mountains in these past 40 years, literally and figuratively. They were devastated when their first son was born with cerebral palsy, a non-vocal quadriplegic, but they accepted the challenge. Uh, rather than put Rick in an institution and forget about him, which was suggested by doctors, by the way, of the time, they gave him a life unlike any other. ESPN, ABC, NBC have all brought national attention to Team Hoyt when they conquered Ironman Hawaii, and again when they traversed the Rocky Mountains on a bicycle. Dick was a novice swimmer, yet he tethered himself to a rubber dinghy and towed his adult son 2.4 miles in the Pacific Ocean. He then strapped him into a seat on the front of a custom-built bicycle and pedaled 112 miles. Together, they completed the Ironman events by running a marathon, 26.2 miles, with Rick seated in a front running chair. These are tremendous accomplishments, of course, but they represent only a couple of the rungs of Team Hoyt's inspirational ladder. Uh, This is not a simple sports biography. This is not a simple story of any kind. It is a really heartwarming story of adversity and overcoming that adversity in very creative ways. So I want to share 
uh, a little bit about this this book and, and how I got to, to know it and, and some of the origin story behind these two incredible humans, Dick and Rick Hoyt. So first of all, you know, from a very um, early age, it was a very, it was a high challenge, obviously, with Rick's handicaps to be able to cope with day-to-day life. But the family never stopped and they never, you know, kind of checked out of the equation. They tried to figure out how to have Rick enjoy his life. And, you know, along the way, they were able to, to take Rick along for rides. And the reality is Rick turned into a completely, you know, different person when he was, uh, in the athletic mode, right? He was smiling, he was happy. And later they were able to help uh, develop and work on the technology with some of the, the great universities and scientists of the time to help Rick actually start communicating using kind of a mouth driven joystick. And you know, so many times we see somebody with a handicap and they're nonverbal and it, our own mental weakness says, oh, well then, you know, obviously they, they're unable to communicate. They're you know, something's wrong with their brain. They, they can't function as a human or as an adult. Uh, you know, maybe human's an overstatement. And I'm just trying to paint the picture that we prejudge based on what we see. But the fact is, Rick was able to control his uh, voice by using a computer and start using that, that mouth-driven uh, joystick or, or uh, mouse, however you want to think of it, to control and to share his thoughts. Today, he's able to communicate using that. And nobody at the time would have ever expected that somebody with his condition actually had such a, a strong vocabulary and such a strong will to communicate. And I, again, I think that's just part of the, the very cool story of It's Only a Mountain. So th- this idea that Dick had way back in the old days to start bringing his son along on not just you know small things, but, but actual marathons. And I believe he started running the, the, uh, the Boston Marathon. I don't remember the exact time maybe the, the late 80s or early 90s, and they've been in every Boston Marathon since that time. Now, recently, Dick, you know, who's 74, has had health ailments, uh, so I think it was back in 2014, uh, the, the reins for Team Hoyt's um, activities went over to some of their trusted colleagues and friends because Rick still wanted to carry on, even though his dad, you know, couldn't go with him. And Rick, you know, is probably in his now early to mid-50s, He's still an athlete at heart and loves to get out there and you know help uh, encourage his dad to keep moving on. The fact that they were able to build the custom equipment and be able to you know kind of create this experience is so extraordinary. And along the way, the guys have been lucky enough to pick up sponsors to help fund this extraordinary amount of uh, races and and uh, history. They've ran in so many marathons, so many triathlons and so many endurance events that you can't even count them all. It's literally, you know, it's past hundreds. It's into the, you know, uh, maybe a thousand plus range. So just think about that, you know, when you you start thinking about endurance events, and I don't remember how many marathons, but it's dozens and dozens of marathons, as I recall. They were able to not just uh, complete, but often they finish uh, the top in their category. For example, uh, Rick was able to complete, with his dad's help, both of them together, uh, compete the marathon number one in their in the the dad's age category of you know 40 and above at the time and this is while pushing you know his son along with him uh, as he's running so he's able to go faster and although he he lost a little speed going up the hill he went faster down the hill than the guys uh, maybe just hanging on for dear life but a true athletic amazing amazing story so uh, before we dive deeper into this book uh, it's only a mountain Uh, I want to just take a quick commercial break and hear from one of our sponsors. Hey, Amazon Marketplace professionals. Congratulations on your success to date. Your creativity, strategic vision, problem solving, and discipline have allowed you to build your own e-commerce business. Wouldn't it be great if you had more time to focus on the things that truly drive the sales and growth of your company? Instead of getting lost in a dozen different services and countless spreadsheets, what if there was one system that connected to your Amazon account and automatically gave you the information that you needed to make great decisions and really impact your business? Parsimony ERP can do that. Parsimony is the business operating system for your marketplace business. With Parsimony, you get true double entry bookkeeping, easy financial statements, full customer service tools, and I item by item profitability, along with project and task management, and more features are being added all the time. Learn more at parsimony.com. That's parsimony, P-A-R-S-I-M-O-N-Y.com. Parsimony.com. We've got that. 
Okay, we are back again, everybody, and I just want to stress the the extraordinary lengths this this family has gone to to break records. So many marathons, so many triathlons. Uh, the the accomplishments are astounding, and you can run over to Team Hoyt, H O Y T, TeamHoyt.com, and you can see some of the extraordinary accomplishments that they've made over the years. And you know, it goes far beyond just breaking records. And far beyond even just the, the brother, you know, the, the father's love for his son. Uh, Team Hoyt, uh, by the way, is an organization that revolves around this spirit and this idea that Dick and, and Rick started. But there are others now uh, who are helping, you know, um, uh, people with handicaps of various kinds continue on and, and become athletes and, and join the races. And the goal of Team Hoyt is to show physically disabled people that they can still become active members of the community. Uh, some of the records that I talked about earlier is the Hoyts have completed over 1,100 endurance events, including 72 marathons and six Ironman triathlons. They've run the Boston Marathon 32 times. The only numbers I could put up that compare to that is how many pizzas I've had in my lifetime and how many pepperoni pizzas I've eaten and how many I've eaten in less than 10 minutes. That's uh, quite a difference. Uh, Team Hoyt definitely has my respect and admiration, and I just I love what they do. Uh, one of the great things is that Dick, you know, who is able to, you know, custom outfit the special running equipment or biking equipment or even the little dinghy where he would drag uh, the boat along behind him while he swims, uh, he was able to pair up healthy runners and, and pushers with those who are limited to wheelchairs. So Team Hoyt doesn't just do this with Rick. They were just kind of the first guys to pioneer it. And now so many others are getting into the act, which is, you know, again, so inspirational. So I mentioned earlier that uh, in the 2011 uh, marathon, I believe it was in the Boston Marathon, uh, a fellow named Brian, uh, Brian Lyons uh, was able to run alongside of Dick and Rick. And they were actually having a hard time, right? Not every race is simple. Not every race is easy. And they were having a hard time. And uh, Brian just you know, joined alongside of them. And now in, I think it's 2014, he was able to actually be the first one to push Rick and uh, to carry him through the Boston Marathon after uh, Dick had to retire, you know, at 74, take a break, Dick. We love you. It's no problem. And the, the ailments that go along with that, probably not, you know, ideal, but right up until 73, he carried on doing it. Amazing. Rick wanted to continue anyway. And so Brian Lyons was able to, you know, be a part of Team Hoyt and, and take that honor into the uh, the Boston Marathon. Uh, again, now we've talked about this idea that they have been inspirational in helping other people get uh, into Team Hoyt and, and bringing athletes uh, from some of those folks who may be differently abled or disabled, however you prefer. So I love this book. It's extraordinarily inspirational. Uh, there's a pretty good chance you will, uh, will uh, start crying at some point. Uh, no question about that. And I, I just have to say that you know, I've never seen anybody or anything, you know, quite this uh, difficult being accomplished again and again. You know, honestly, these guys could have just run this race one time, you know, one marathon or one triathlon, just one single time. And that would be inspirational enough, especially for those of us who have no physical ailments. Yet they just continued to do it and do it and do it. And they loved it. Uh, every little, you know, every little moment, they just loved it. So uh, before we close, I want to just share with you uh, one of the, the key quotes that uh, I think is something that we can all take a little bit of inspiration from. So Mary Ann Drabovoy, I don't know how to pronounce her last name. I'm not good at that, as you know, if you're an avid listener. But she was with ABC Worldwide Sports, and she wrote this, uh, this quick intro, uh, found in Chapter 18, by the way. Imagine yourself being trapped inside a body with lifeless limbs. Unable to walk, unable to talk, unable to feed yourself. But in your heart and soul, you're an athlete. You can feel the burn in your legs as they pump. You can feel the burn in your windpipe as you breathe. Because in your mind's eye, you are an athlete. Sleek, strong, swift, invincible. But in reality, you're helpless. And it's the stark contrast between those two realities. You know, what Rick Hoyt is able to do himself physically is, you know, this much of the story. But what him and his father... And ultimately, he and his father have inspired, among so many others, is what makes this really one of my favorite books of all time. 
It, it's only a mountain. It's a great read. It's powerful stuff. And if you ever are facing challenges or, you know, you have some uh, obstacle in your way, this helps you reset kind of your own expectations on what is truly an obstacle. And as, uh, as they call it, eh, it's only a mountain. We're going over it. We're going through it. We're going to do whatever it takes. And uh, I think that's, that's pretty much uh, the, the final summary. So this, again, has been episode number 78 of the Awesomers.com podcast series. And this has been a Book of the Week episode. We hope that you have enjoyed it. And we hope that you enjoy all of the Awesomers uh, episodes. We're now breaking them up into smaller episodes for your benefit so that you can get through them in a reasonable, you know, short period of time. We're trying to match the factory production schedule with the amount that you can consume each day. And you can go to awesomers.com slash contact if you have any feedback about that pivot. Let us know. We uh, are doing this really just for you. So thanks again for joining us, everybody. Uh, awesomers.com slash 78. You can find all the show notes and details about today's episode. Catalyst 88 was developed to help entrepreneurs achieve their short and long-term goals in e-commerce markets by utilizing the power of shared entrepreneurial wisdom. Entrepreneurship is nothing if not lessons to be learned. Learn from others. Learn from us. I guarantee that we will learn from you. Visit Catalyst88.com because your success is our success. A giddy up. Well, we've done it again, everybody. We have another episode of the Awesomers Podcast ready for the world. Thank you for joining us, and we hope that you've enjoyed our program today. Now's a good time to take a moment to subscribe, like, and share this podcast. Heck, you could even leave a, a review if you wanted. Awesomers around you will appreciate your help. It's only with your participation and sharing that we'll be able to achieve our goals. Our success is literally in your hands. Thank you again for joining us. We are at your service. Find out more about me, Steve Simonson, our guest, team, and all the other Osmers involved at awesomers.com. Thank you again. Awesomers.com.